quick breakdown on this training session with ammo ammo is does about a year and a half a year and a half she's one of my friends dogs that i'm watching for the moment until we figure out what to do with her i'm doing a short training session here she already has some of the basic skills one of our interns from uh about a class ago trained her she fostered for about a month or so and gave her all the basic skills so i'm gonna give credit to her katie good job and also my buddy ray kept her for about a few weeks also to see uh, if he could do anything with her so she's with me right now and i'm gonna just polish up her obedience and the style that i'm using here is uh, i'm using tug i'm using lots of play that's how i want to do the bulk of my obedience if I'm going to do obedience, it just has to be fun for the dog. There is a time and a place for discipline. There's a time and a place to, hey, you have to do it because I told you to do it. But for the most part, this is what I want it to look like. I want it to be fun. Uh, I want lots of excitement. The dogs give me a little bit of a leg wrap, which some people discourage. I don't discourage it. I enjoy it. It's part of the push and pull game. And this dog is also going to be doing some bite work, which the leg wrap is something that I want to encourage. So playing, playing, playing. This style of training was introduced to me by Ivan Balabanov. Um, if you have not heard of Ivan Balabanov, you are missing out. The program that I saw was Obedience Without Conflict. But if you look up Ivan Balabanov, you will see that he has a lot of other videos on the topic of obedience and a bunch of other things really really valuable resource and what i'm using on my waist is a star mark clicker so it frees up your hands goes on your on your uh on your hip uh, not on the wrist goes on your hip now uh, the only disadvantage is you have to kind of reach back so occasionally I, I hold it in my hands just to kind of prevent the dog from cueing off of it too much and so i'm using a combination of marker training and lots of play so if i tell the dog to out i wait it out the second it outs it gets a reward but the second i give it a task it completes the task and gets another reward so very fun very motivational i want the training session to be just fun exciting i want the dog to look forward to training not dread it if the training session becomes too stressful then it doesn't put the dog in a position to learn. So I want it to be excited to learn.